Okay, it's Thursday, and I'm here with Elizabeth Kilcoyne of Kilcoyne Lilac Farms in Antelope Valley, California. I am so blown away by Elizabeth's amazing lilacs. I don't know what to say because I didn't know they grew them in California. Let me show you a close-up here. Oh, these are just luscious. So beautiful. And just the way you get them out of the field. None of this hothouse stuff, right? Right, exactly. So tell me, can you answer a couple questions for me, Elizabeth? Sure. Um, first of all, is, do lilacs grow in Southern California because they're so early in the season that the heat wave hasn't, you know, made them suffer? Or is it, or obviously you've got cold winter temperatures? or That's more of it. We have cold winter temperatures. Uh, we're at 3,000 feet our elevation, so we have um, enough chill to make them flower. And heat isn't really an issue because we live in the high desert okay. and we can get into triple digits for a week, 10 days at a time. They do stress, but they, they survive it. So they stress in the summer and what, you have to give them a, one deep watering a week or something like that? Just uh, to the get more, yes, the more established plants, you can, we go about a week to 10 days. We do drip irrigation, 12-hour increments. And they stress a little, but they're, they're okay. They can wow. manage. They're okay. And and uh, how many uh, shrubs do you have? We're up to uh, a little over 3,000 plants. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. They're beautiful. Thank and you. And how many acres do you have? We're pushing 10 acres. Okay. Wow. And when did you start doing this? Um, 1994. Wow. So you've got some pretty mature, mature lilac shrubs. Yes, we do. And wow. some new ones, younger. We have a collection of 125 different varieties that are just uh, for show. We don't cut them. It's just for visitation and to wow. uh, walk through. Wow. So even though you're not going to be at the farmer's markets much more this spring, um, would you say like for the next couple of weeks people could still come up to the to see the display garden? Or um, what, do you, what do you recommend? I would love to have them come, but I want them to come when the, it's a show. So next and year. the show is kind of finished. Okay, so the show is usually March and April? End of March, beginning of April, depending on the heat okay. and the weather. Okay, wow. But it is an awesome spot. I will be back. I will be up there next year. I was just so excited when I saw these here. Um, you do the farmers markets, and uh, you do also sell to florists. Yes, we do. So I bet you a lot of the high-end florists in LA and Santa Monica and Santa Barbara all have your uh, beautiful lilacs. Yes, Montecito, Santa Barbara. So if a bride if a bride wants a lilac bouquet, she better get married when Kilcoin lilacs are in bloom, because <laughs> otherwise, forget it. Absolutely. And what do you do in the rest of the year? Do you grow other crops? Uh, children. <laughs> I have two boys, and uh, I take care of our home. Oh wow! And then you recover from the seven day a week schedule. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Elizabeth. And um, I'm gonna show a little uh, little selection here in the buckets at Thousand Oaks Farmer's Market, and I just have to tell you, you've given me a little bit of the Northwest uh, today. It makes me so happy. Beautiful. Thanks so much.